It is the largest freshwater lake in the world, drawing thousands of visitors each year. But as old as it is, Minnesota's Great Lake is still evolving. Tonight in our Eye on the Earth series, WCCO's John Lortzen shows us how climate change and warmer temperatures are changing Lake Superior. It's so huge. It's, you know, it feels kind of like we're at the ocean. The scenery, just knowing all the history that's in the lake. There are countless reasons why people from around the world are drawn to a lake that formed nearly a billion years ago. And it has a personality just like a person does. So some days it's really mad and all stirred up and brown. Other days it's like glass and smooth and blue. The lake's personality is intriguing to Jay Austin as well. He's a professor at University of Minnesota Duluth's Large Lakes Observatory, which studies the health of lakes around the world. Not just Superior, but all of the upper Great Lakes have significant trends over the last several decades. One of those trends is water temperatures that are several degrees warmer than they were 40 years ago. We see more and more years um, where we see little to no open lake ice now. Researchers say that causes a number of problems for Superior's ecosystem. Changing water temperatures can lead to fluctuating water levels and impact whitefish eggs. If fish numbers decline, something else could move in. One great concern that I think most Great Lakes scientists share is that this increase in water temperatures is going to make the lake more habitable to invasive species. Zebra mussels have already changed ecosystems in other Great Lakes, like Lake Erie and Lake Michigan. Austin says warmer temperatures could also be cause for more Lake Superior storms in the future and potentially more algae blooms. Well, we use these to measure temperature uh, very accurately, very, very quickly. Every April, temperature gauges examine the lake's overall health while there are still cold years with substantial ice like 2009 or 2014. Austin is predicting future winters with less ice. I think what we're going to see, if you want to go forward to 2050 or something like that, is that we're going to see a lot more years like 2012, where there's basically no open lake ice. In a sense, the personality of Superior could change, something researchers are preparing lake lovers for. Part of what defines who we are up here and, and how we interact with, our, with the landscape has to do with the fact that there's this huge lake uh, right here. And the lake is not going to go away, but it is going to be a very different place um, than it is, or could be a very different place than it is now. In Duluth, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Austin blames the warmer temperatures on carbon dioxide emissions. He believes to slow down the changes in Lake Superior, we would need to cut back on carbon-based fuels.